Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Double Jackpot. Please that smash that subscribe button and we're going to get into a good Christopher Mitchell video recounting, really kind of teaching young Christopher how to scam properly. You know, that's that's the problem, Christopher. You don't scam properly. I wanted to do a funny parody. Those take a little bit of effort. Um, it's late. It's 10.45 central time so we got so many requests for doing these videos so this i try to make it as funny as i can but uh you know just watching christopher mitchell videos are for entertainment purposes only and i know you guys that are watching them get a big kick out of it and here i'm trying to do a little thing of how to teach christopher how to scam properly so christopher take notes and let's get into this video these are all your flaws and why you look so pathetic. So uh, you look like such a scammer. Besides the obvious, but I'm gonna I'm gonna critique and tell you how to fix your videos and how to be more believable and how to how to how to do the how to do the scam right. So let's get into it first and foremost. Don't lie. I mean, you cannot tell the truth to save your life. And then you go up there and you. Again, swear on the Bible as God is my witness. I mean, geez, I mean, you really believe that crap? I mean, you get caught in, you must have been busted in, I mean, at least 70 different lies. From your gay porn, to your winning every day, to being a millionaire. You can't show no proof. You just run off at the mouth, and you just keep lying you just cannot tell the truth you're nowhere near a millionaire you don't even have a hundred thousand dollars to show okay show me a hundred thousand dollars christopher show me a hundred thousand dollars in a proven way show me okay that's number one you're a lying sack number two what makes you such a bad scammer is millionaires and people with money don't brag Okay, you brag about everything, your lavish life. Matter of fact, that's one of your stupid little shady corporation names that you went by when you had people send you money, lavish life. You got caught in that with Gary out in Atlanta, your scammer partner, you know. Y'all been linked together on the internet. But you can't stop bragging. You think Alexis impresses anybody? You never once showed your car until you got the Lexus. Why? Because you drove a piece of shit. And I I drive many pieces of shit. Okay? So, cars don't impress me. Okay? Cars don't impress me. Let's understand that. You're driving around in a depreciating asset. Show me multiple paid-for real estate. Show me, show me big bank accounts and big brokerage accounts. Show me the money. You're going around as a $10 bet rolls around the wheel yelling booyah for 10 freaking bucks. 10 freaking bucks. As I do this video, I'm looking at Miss Jackpot. She has got a lemon face and she's very disappointed and very angry. And I got to tell the story so she snaps out of her little funk. So I'm directing off the video. Speaking of real estate, she gets a text message from a tenant there's no water coming out of the sink anybody want to leave their comments on why there may not be water coming out of the sink my number one guess is it's got sediment built up in the faucet it's sand but this quote handyman that's renting there doesn't know how to unscrew the thing and clear out the debris I'm guessing that's it because they got water pressure and all the other lines so check that that check that box and if you think there could be some something fouled up with the water pressure and yes I did ask her to see if the bathroom had water pressure etc and it's a duplex so I'm sure the other tenant has water so sorry to get off that beaten path not supposed to be comedy but she's all upset because she gets a text message at over 10 30 at night and I'm making her do this video and she just got out of the shower and she really didn't want to do the video hence the reason why we're not doing the parody and maybe that's why she'll cheer up would you like to chime in right now and say something to the viewers as she shakes her head. Anyways, okay. Sorry, guys. But that's what's going on in my life as I do this video. So he brags. I mean, think about this. A year and a half goes by. 
no vehicle ever. I mean, he did his darndest to, to keep not filming his car because it wasn't a million dollar lifestyle. And I, you know what? I don't judge a person by their car at all. So I'm just going there because that's what makes Christopher Christopher, his possessions and what he can, how he can be seen. And, but you know, like I said, vehicles don't do anything for me. I used to ask my dad, what kind of car would you like? If you know, my dad would say one that runs good. I said, you know, dad, really, what kind of car do you really like? And then he would say a paid for car. My dad had the best answers. He was a World War II vet and he was a hardworking guy and a lot of the, a lot of the mannerisms I get are from the World War II generation. So I'm not trying to date myself, but uh, that's kind of the upbringing. So he can't, he has to brag. And, and when you're bragging in general, you look like a fool. I mean, he's showing $50,000 in a thing. That's not even professional gambling types of mannerisms. It's stupid actually, you know, very dumb. You lose a lot of credibility and you uh, just basically look like a, um, um, a very weak and desperate person trying to impress people. Number three, don't be rude. So simple. You know, you talk about being this Christian good guy. You talk down to your viewers. You talk down to people in the comment section. You have so many fake accounts and you use these fake accounts to try to be rude. Follow directions. Do this. Do that. You know, you, you kick people out of your Facebook group. You, you know, when you're doing what you're doing, trying to be a professional scammer, you got to be kind. You got to be charming. You got to be, you know, you got to be a likable person and you're not any of those qualities. You're far from any of those. So stop being rude and that may get you a little bit of a attention back from your Facebook members who think you're a total jerk. Total talk down. Uh, same as being rude. They're very synonymous, especially if it's, you know, in business or in any kind of transaction. If somebody doesn't get it or somebody's asking you a question or they're not doing as you say, instead of talking down to them and, and making them feel, and I see it in a lot of your comments and a lot of your videos, you talk down to people, you know, and going back to the bragging, I mean, really, you ha you're, you live in a rented condo with nothing and you're bragging about what? What? Seriously, what are you bragging about? I don't get it. I just shake my head. I'm thinking, wow, Un unbelievable. But Christopher Mitchell's the GOAT, baby. All right, number five. Quit showing off. You know, you, you get in these videos and you're sweating bullets. You can see the intensity. You can see the, the coked out mannerisms you possess. Your eyes are, are, are bugging out. You're so intense when you have to do these martingales. And then when you win those bets, you just holler at your boy. Booyah. And then you're yelling, show me the money, show me the money, show me the money. You know, your, your, your win is 10 bucks. <clears throat> I mean, for the millionaire lifestyle that you're trying to portray, it's, it's comic relief. It's just silly. Number six, have a good memory. This is going to be talked about for a minute. So let me <coughs> catch my breath. See, let me give Christopher nothing. When you cough, cover your mouth. Turn your head. Don't sniffle into the camera. You you just oh my god, it's, you're you're gross. And when you were eating that pizza in the airport, I can't get that I can't get that out of my head. The cheese and the oh my god, it was a wreck. Um, just horrible. But you have to have a good memory. My dad always told me people that you know con men, liars, time share salesmen. People that are trying to fast talk, you got to have a good memory. You know, that's what gets most, that, that's, that's your biggest problem. You don't have a good memory. Let's talk about your stupid books. They don't do anything. They, they're horrible. We saw 
Um, we saw the uh, little book review online, and it's beyond comical. And you just now started talking about it. You must have a lot of millionaires come and do pretty soon. You know, you should be showing that. How are you dothat? You don't do any millionaire blueprint, um, anything like that. You don't show any of your, you, you talk about all this stuff, but you don't show any um, residuals on your other businesses, your businesses. I mean, if you're gonna do what you do and you're trying to sell yourself, you have to have some believability. You have no believability. Okay, I'll give you an example. Here's your, here's a number one where you just you had it first and goal and took two sacks in a row and then then fumbled. You just you, you're your own worst enemy. Playing the no bus strategy, saying the casinos put that strategy out there so you would lose. Do some basic simple freaking math, son. You are just so freaking clueless about your splittings and your doubling and and how you hit cards and how you stuck to that for months. The no bus strategy is a recipe for disaster. And that, I mean, you don't have a memory. You think people, you should delete all that stuff and just say, I, I screwed up. You know, when you make a mistake, the best way to uh, fix a mistake is just say, hey, I screwed up. You know, you, you, know you, you said how you lost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, plural, hundreds of thousands, though that's at least 200,000. Then you lost the 36 in Biloxi. And then when you went out to that California for that field trip, six months ago out to San Diego and lost all that money pouting and giving the floor managers and uh, casino host grief you know you're telling if you lost two over two hundred fifty three hundred thousand dollars that means you had to make that kind of money which you never have because you hadn't been doing this long enough and you have bad in, in your history shows you have bad credit you, have, you don't pay your bills, you're a renter, and I'm not knocking renters, but we know why you're renting, because you have no money. You have, your your memory's horrible, so, you know, it's so hard, if you, you know, to prove you're a millionaire. And being a millionaire, let me be honest with you, it ain't what it's cracked up to be. It's not, it's not something that, oh my God, you know, I could probably walk down my street and there's probably 15 millionaires in a row that you don't even know. And same way in your neighborhood, and same way neighborhoods over to you, you know, it's not it's not a huge feat. I often say if you're not if if I'm not going to get into it, but I'm just saying if you don't have uh, substantial assets and you lived your life normally and you've done smart things, and I'm not talking about people that had health issues, divorce. I'm talking about average America that lives on less than they make should have substantial assets and be in that class. That's my opinion, and I'm not talking down to you. I'm not belittling you. People are all have their own issues. They carry their own cross. But as a rule of thumb, it's a t it's a very attainable and something that most people should shoot for. And I'm talking at least by the time they're in their mid 60s. And I'll, I'll do a video on that. There's so many of on YouTube, but I can do a simple video on that. And I, I promise you it's not to talk down or to uh, belittle or make anybody feel different. It's to get you encouraged and to motivated and to do the right things and and how you can get on that path. And it's very doable, but you got to buckle down and do it. Christopher Mitchell showed us none of that. He has a horrible memory. I mean, just think he swears on the Bible over such stupid stuff that's such lies. He doesn't even remember the lies. And if you ask him questions, he does what all con men do that are bad, and they deflect him and ignore him, almost like a almost like a politician. You know, you go right up to him to try to say, hey, what's going on here? And he selected memory and doesn't want to do it, you know. Number seven, admit your faults. Christopher, you're a horrible father, you're a horrible husband, you're a horrible human being, and you're a professional scammer that has no scamming skills. Hence the term, take no CM, how to scam and make it look real, how to be a better scammer. You focus on this, Christopher, write this down and manifest it, okay? You should know about manifesting. You know, because, it, you know, you said how you got that Honda or whatever, you were at a dealership and 
a fan of yours uh, approached you and called you up and got you a car, if you had any pride whatsoever in your life, being a millionaire now, you would reach out and contact that man. I'm sure he should be on your Christmas card list. Anybody that gives you a card, you'd be a friend for life, I would think. One of you guys, viewers out there, want to give me a car? I'll call you every single day. You know? I'm just saying. That's somebody that's really on your high up list. But Christopher didn't repay the favor when he reached, quote, stardom. You know? He didn't... He didn't uh, reach out to this um, person that changed his life with a free car, gave him the car of his dreams at the time. You know, he just took it and felt like he was uh, deserving of it because he manifested it. He was deserving of that car. I'm just saying you can't make this kind of crap up. There was a one video he took it down. It was just him repeating over and over for 40 minutes, you long-term fans of his or viewers, not fans, he talked about how he loved money. I mean, just over and over, love money, love money, I want money, yada, 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 over and over. It was a 30 minute long saga of how he worships money and thinking godly Christian, good person, that was something that was such a turn off. That would make me want to never even think about doing business or even thinking about you. I mean, horrible, horrible way to uh, sit there and portray yourself. You know, what What does that prove? It's just your total sick psycho whatever. You know, if, if that's what you truly believe, I wouldn't put it out on a video. I know you t turned it, t took it off about three days later. I'm sure somebody out there in YouTube land has that copy because there's there's probably a copy of that video. So, Christopher, to be a good scammer, you can't be what you're doing because you're just not getting it done on the believability factor. It's all about, it's all about coming off like a person that somebody wants to do business with, a likable person, somebody who's, man, you know, you never lose. Seriously, you never lose. And it's so easy to prove. You can show bank statements. You can show records on your history on your your casino accounts you're no longer at any of these brick and mortar casinos it's just your whole life is a fraud and it's exposed the spotlights on you and i'm just going facts 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 i'm not making anything up there's not one thing i said that's not true okay nothing you know you're you're hooping and hollering hollering at your boy booyah when you won 10 bucks, you know, think about how lucky you've gotten, if it even is true, how you've escaped disaster. And your sports betting picks, I mean, you can't even admit, man, I don't, you know, you came into the sports thing and it wasn't thought out at all. Well, you should have got some, you should have got some good information online about how to do sports gambling. When you came out and tried to wing that, that showed a lot of your weaknesses and a lot of your just pathetic, pathetic strategies. If there, there is really no strategies when you're doing this. Sports betting, there's some strategies because there's ways to hedge bets. There's a way to play live and get your money back. There's ways to bet the second half and get your money back. There's so many ways that's in football. You can do it in baseball too. There's ways to hedge and protect your bankroll. If, but it takes time. This takes a lot of time and effort. It's not really a life that's worthy of doing. You gotta be glued to the TV, you gotta have be online, you gotta do it quickly. It's there's a lot of work involved in hedging sports bets live and playing halftime wagers. And like I said, I think your quality of life and your family is a lot more important than doing that. I've went through that little cycle, never were it was life changing, but it's still it's it takes time. Let's just say that. You want to watch seven, eight hours of football. I don't watch really professional sports anymore since they've all have attitudes. I, I don't deal well with that. I got other things I can be doing. Um, so, I mean, you just have to look at all the stuff, Christopher, and all you viewers. I got the best viewers in, all, in town. I know my viewers are going to probably add seven or eight more things to this list, if not more. 
the comments are going to be overwhelming and I'll probably do another video on how to for him to be a better scammer because my viewers know math way better than me and they talk about the probability the odds of all these games and you know people say how what's the long term anything that's what Christopher Mitchell does you're gonna lose doing his strategies and playing as long as he does that's the long term you limit it I mean think about here, here's a couple more lies get a win and leave you know he did that then he said never play online he's playing online I mean there's just countless lies he never did gay porn he did new porn hand on the Bible <laughs> he's all over the internet doing gay porn the guy cannot be factual and tell the truth you know he can't show any any um, any proof to his uh, wins other than doing these videos because you know he can anybody can do an hour 30 minute video and, 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 and have that work out and then what did he do well the cameras not rolling you know did he get in trouble did he not dig out of a hole whatever where's Stacy all the time she's she, that prop is gone she's falling off the map you gotta be you gotta keep your routine going and look and 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 be uh, organized on your deceit if you're gonna do this stuff and have a plan you you do all this stuff half ass have a plan think about what you're doing and quit jumping all over the place okay now you're in roulette when you said Baccarat was the only game ever professional gamblers don't hop around like you do you know because you're not a professional gambler you're not a high roller you're none of the stuff what you are is holla at your boy booyah all this crazy stupid stuff and I look on the screen when you do that because you know I don't watch your videos and I just ten dollars whoa shh you fired up that dude, dude I can only imagine what you were like if this is true and you were playing two hundred three hundred dollar bets at the Bellagio you know, five hundred dollar bets, a thousand, twenty thousand dollar bets, all these crazy bets. I bet you were, God, I bet you were crazy, pumped up, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. This was more of a factual video than an entertaining video. I love each and every one of you guys. Keep texting me, keep emailing me, doublejackpot01 at gmail.com. Use the comment section. I'm gonna, I'm playing catch up like crazy, on um. On all your all's questions and stuff, I promise you we'll we'll get caught up. We'll try to do some really funny, good videos. It's coming down to the weekend, and uh, you know, uh, just tell me what you guys want to hear and see and do, and I'll I'll try to make that video especially for you guys. Um, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you on the next video soon.